So the dimension commands, you can find them here on the left side, and you will see we have a few of them, but the one I like to use is called dimension align, which is this icon right here. So I will select it, and then from here, the way the dimension command works, this one specifically is you click on one corner and then another corner, and then you would place the dimension. Now you're looking at this, you're probably thinking like all I'm seeing is just lines. I'm not seeing a number or a value. The problem with it by default is that it comes out small and we need to modify it. And here you go, you can see like, it doesn't tell us if this is inches or if this is feet and it's coming out like at a very small size. So this is one of the settings that we need to modify in AutoCAD, just like we did with the units earlier. To modify the dimension and change the text size, we will do that from a window called the Dimension Style Manager. And to access it, we can just click on this icon right here. And then from here, we will get this window that shows us the standard. Another way, of course, is if you type the, the shortcut to it and you just type DIM style, that will also give us access to this window. But anyway, from here, you will see there's a standard style that is highlighted. You might see another style called annotative. I don't have it on my end, but we're not going to cover that and we're not going to use it. So you want to use the one called standard. Uh, and then from here, what we will do is click on the gear icon and then we will click modify. Now we will get another window uh, where we have additional settings related to the dimension. There's a total of six settings we are going to change here um, for the dimension to be like to show up properly for our use. Uh, and the first one, I'm going to go kind of by order. Uh, the first one I want to highlight is by going to the primary units. So just like we did with the units earlier where we changed the drawing units from decimal to architectural, we're also going to do the same here and we're going to switch it to architectural. So that way we can see the dimension in inches and feed value. So the next one we're going to do is at the text tab. So here we will change the text height. We will make it uh, four inches, okay? And then we will go to, so this is the second setting. The next one, we are going to go to the symbols and arrows uh, tab. And then from here, I would like to change the the arrow shape from the, from the arrow like this, from the arrowhead, this one, I'm gonna change it to the one called architectural tick, okay? And then the arrow size, I'm also going to match the same value. I'm going to do four inches. And then the next one from the lines, I'm also going to do, I'm also going to do these two right here, these two values where it says extend beyond dimension lines. Uh, this is like the distance where the dimension jumps from the geometry. So you want to place that. And then the same here. Oh, I'm sorry, beyond dimension line. That's the one like uh, right after the dimension. And then we have the offset from origin we will place it also at four inches. So we have the units, we change the text, we change the arrow sizes uh, and their shape, and now we change these two settings. And then we're gonna click okay, and then we're gonna close. And now when we zoom in at the dimension, you will see like it's showing now properly and the text is legible. The scale of the floor plan we are currently drawing is a little big, so maybe this dimension is not the dimension size is not ideal. So I'm thinking to create another style and it's a chance to show you how to create additional dimension styles with different sizes. So the same, we will go to the dimension style manager, but this time we will type it and then we will get the same window. And then from this window, we will click on the plus icon. And then this one, I will just call it large, for example. And you will see it will copy from the standard style that we modified earlier. And we're gonna click continue. And then from here, what I will do is change basically the text. Uh, I'll just make it, I think I'll make it double the size. So I'll do eight, uh, eight inches here. And then I'll do the same for the arrow sizes. And then the lines, I will also modify them to be uh, eight inches. And then here, I'll also do eight inches. And as you see here in the preview, for the most part, they look a little big compared to the drawing, but for the most part, this is looking good. We will click OK. And then if I want to switch to make the large one, the current style, I'll right click on it and set current and then I'll close. So what does that mean is that when we add dimensions, this will be the default. So here when I do a dimension, uh, I lost the dimension command. Okay, I'm going to long press here and then we're going to access this one, dimension linear. So I'll click on the same place right here and you will see it comes out double the size versus to the dimension we created earlier. 